Greetings and salutations, I'm Zook, your lovable dungeon master, and welcome to a Hero Forge video. In this video, we'll be looking at their VTT downloadable files and uh, having those files imported directly into Tabletop Simulator. Now, some of you may have seen my other videos uh, where I have gone through the process of importing it to Blender, Unity, and then importing it. Uh, Hero Forge actually today uh, released out of the beta it, to the public the ability to do it directly uh, to Tabletop Simulator. They give you all the files necessary and it just like in a few steps you can get it right into your Tabletop game. So we're going to go through that now. As you can see here, I have one of my player's characters, Lindori, um, and she will be the first mini that I'm going to import into Tabletop Simulator. I'm pretty excited about it. So first of all, you got to go to the checkout after you've done making your character. As you can see, it is colored new, uh, thanks to their new coloring system. We'll go to buy. And then you got to scroll down. And uh, so normally it would be the STL, but we're not going to do that one. Instead, they have 3D tabletop download compatible with tabletop simulator. We'll click right there. And then add to cart. Go to view your cart and then check out. Now I'm going to skip over this part, but this is where you would enter in your uh, monetary information and uh, check out as normal. And then it'll, it'll download the actual file to your computer. I'd also like to give a great shout out to Hero Forge, who has contacted me personally, and uh, they actually gave me uh, a little bit of store credit and uh, uh, asked me to make this video. So thank you so much, Hero Forge. Uh, it's kind of a sponsorship, kind of not. Uh, officially, I don't think it actually counts, but thanks anyways, Hero Forge, for the free stuff. I very much appreciate it. And uh, these these uh, miniatures will be used in my upcoming streams. Uh, so you should be able to see some of them on uh, uh, tomorrow, actually, which will be um, Wednesday, right around 7 p.m. Eastern. You can go to twitch.tv uh, slash geeks anonymous and check it out and check us out there. Um, but back to the instructions. So once you get your email, download the file and uh, I'm going to just download it to my desktop to make it easier for uh, for all of us. So when you place your order, one thing I forgot about is you're going to get an email and it's going to send you to the uh, download section of your account. Uh, as you can see here, you will have to wait for it to finish processing. Uh, so once that's finished processing, uh, we'll resume uh, with the magic of editing. We're going to do that right now. All right, and there it is, the download button. So just go ahead and click that and you can start your download right away. You'll see it at the bottom left of your screen if you're using Windows. If you're not using Windows, then uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out though. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that, bring open the zipped file. You'll see right here, it says Lindori.Unity3D. So go ahead and minimize that. I'm just gonna, for simplicity sake, we'll drag that right to the, uh, to the desktop so I know where it is. And now we get into the the actual process of importing. So go ahead and go to your Steam or however you have Tabletop Simulator. I'm not sure whatever me methods there are, but uh, go ahead and boot that right up. All right, and once you're in the game, uh, we're gonna actually start the importing process. So all you need to do for that is go to Objects, Components, Custom, asset bundle right here you're gonna take that and we can drag that right in there you'll see it does start off as just a normal cube this is where we're going to update that so go to browse local files once again we're gonna go to the desktop is where we saved it or wherever you saved it go there and uh, in this case mine is ladori.unity 3d select Make sure you upload it to the cloud, that way all of the players joining your game will be able to see it. Otherwise, it's going to store it on your local machine and they will not have access to it. So uh, when it says to upload it, you can name it whatever you want to go into your cloud. I'm going to just keep it Lidori for sake of ease. Upload. And for the type, what I always do is I go to figurine. That means if something knocks it over, if it gets flipped over, something happens to the MIDI, all you have to do is click it and it picks it right up. And then import. And there it is. 
Oops. And one thing I just found out is uh, if you have the preview enabled in the options, uh, you can actually see a preview and it actually shows you this diabolical inside view of the character. Um, you can disable this function if you want. Uh, I like it enabled. I think it's actually adds a little bit of flavor to it. <laughs> so as you can see here with the color miniature, it's going to add way more depth, way more immersion to your tabletop simulator games. Um, so big thanks to, to Hero Forge for contacting me and letting me know of the change of, of their policies and the fact that I'm able to actually use them in my streams from now on. When they first count, uh, when I first contacted them in April, uh, they said unfortunately they weren't permitted to uh, allow people to use them in their streams because it was considered quote-unquote commercial use. However, they have changed their policies and they are now letting people do that. As long as you're not like printing out the figures and selling them, it's it doesn't violate their terms and agreements. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. As you can see, it only took me about maybe less than a minute to actually import the miniature. So thank you so much to Hero Forge for making this such a simple and pain-free process. Um, I definitely look forward to seeing these in my streams in the future. And if you want to check out my streams, you can go ahead and uh, join us tomorrow, which is Wednesday, um, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, and we will be running a game of D&D with... Uh, uh, Lodori is not one of the players in that, but there will be uh, more Hero Forge uh, figures displayed during that stream as well. Uh, we also have a game on Tuesday, uh, every other Tuesday at the same time, 7 p.m. Eastern, and one that will be starting up on Thursdays. So thank you guys so much for watching, and, and once again, thank you so much to Hero Forge for contacting me and, and letting me know of this, this great new tool uh, that'll be invaluable in future streams. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, useful, or anything like that, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that little bell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Toodaloo.